Let's talk about another strategy for managing verbs in Russian that will be really helpful in the long run. In a recent video, we talked about the best way to learn the forms of a verb. But there is something else we need to keep in mind, how to use them in context. When you learn to express things like they're buying an apartment, you'll learn about using the accusative case for a direct object. Они покупают квартиру. Or in a phrase like this, они всегда давали мне билет. We'll use the dative case for an indirect object. There are other verbs, though, where that function may not be quite so clear, and different languages treat them in different ways. For example, in English, you can be interested in something. In German, literally, you interest yourself for something, and other languages may use other constructions. So, when you learn a new verb in Russian, how can you be sure which case to use with it? The best way to sort this out as a learner is to check your textbook or a dictionary for the forms of the question words кто and что included after the entry. So, when we see кем, чем, the instrumental case forms of кто and что, for example, this tells us to use the instrumental case with интересоваться. Я интересуюсь историей. And here we see кому, чему, the dative forms of кто and что, so we know that помогать, помочь is used with the dative. In other words, it governs the dative case. Они помогали беженцам. These entries should also let you know if the meaning of a verb calls for more than one case or a preposition. Получать, получить, кого, что, от кого, от чего. Она получила книгу от Саши. So here you can receive someone or something, a direct object in the accusative, from someone or something, with the genitive after the preposition от. And while we're on this page, let's look at one more. Which case do we use with пользоваться? Again, кем, чем lets you know that this verb governs the instrumental. Как пользоваться палочками? Now, this does assume that you can recognize the case forms of кто and что, and it really is important to learn these as you make your way through the Russian case system. After all, you'll need them for everyday conversation. От кого она получила книгу? С кем вы говорили? К чему они привыкли? О чем она писала? And there'll be a good guide to knowing which case to use with each new verb that you learn. Summing up, Russian verbs are often used with a particular case, but it's not always easy to predict which case to use. So look for the forms of кто and что in your dictionary or textbook and be sure to learn them with the verb. Yes, this is another good reason to get really comfortable with all of the case forms of кто and что.